How you doing? My name is Peter Matichek, and I'm back. So good to be back. I'm excited to be here, so thank you for watching. A quick update. In-house video has expanded. We're officially known as WorkflowX.io. Super cool stuff. It's all about efficiency, increasing efficiency, cutting costs, and cutting time for B2B marketers. So if you are a B2B marketer, I highly recommend you check it out. I'm going to talk a little bit more at the end of the video, but for right now, let's focus on the topic that you clicked on, which is an anti-webinar or how to think differently about webinars in the B2B space. What's an anti-webinar? Well, I call it a live panel discussion with your subject matter experts or obviously people like customers that know their stuff. Now, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons as well, some tips to both make them a little bit better and a little bit easier. So let's start with the classic webinars. And obviously webinars are a key component, especially for software companies as a lead generation. I mean, they've been the staple. One of the things that's happened in the last couple of years because everybody's been remote, a little bit about death by webinar. I don't know about you, but I look at my January, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to learn and fill my you know calendar <laughs> with all these virtual remote events, webinars, white papers, and I'm like, wow, it's been January and I didn't do anything, <laughs> right? You can fill your calendar. There's so much out there. Let's talk about this kind of webinar where the kind of pros of it before we get to the cons. So the pros of a webinar is if you do it, you can control, you can really control the content in there. Typically it's the subject matter experts inside your organization. It's structured correctly. You can plan for it. Heck, you can even prep the questions. Of course, the questions are live. I mean, come on, people, everybody does that. Oh, Mark, thanks so much. That's a great question you're asking. Let's answer that right now. It's like, yeah, well, that's predefined. Come on, people. Everybody's caught on to that little trick, but that's okay. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But when we talk about it, it is nicely structured, right? You got the slides, you got the demos, you got the talk track. It is smooth. You know exactly what you're saying, how to build it up, whether it's half an hour or an hour. You know, it is a really good, tight, lip show, right? That you can actually take and show your prospects, or your future customer, depending where they are, you know, in the funnel. The good news around that as well is, is that when people, the subject matter experts tend to deliver it, they can typically, they're not on video, right? Like most of the time, majority of the time when you do a webinar in the B2B space, it is just kind of like slides and you know, you don't have much face in there. Like sometimes you may start turning on kind of your webcam and your camera, which is obviously highly recommended because as soon as you have that face expressions in there and add some dynamic movement to it but typically the subject matter experts are a little hesitant but they're good if they have their talk track they know the slides you know they can deliver the content relatively kind of easily and you know with some confidence and of course you know at the end of it you have great content you got a, a great slide deck so you're creating more content that you can put in follow up with prospects put it into your funnel etc so let's talk about the cons the biggest cons of a webinar or doing webinars in the B2B space is time. <laughs> I don't know about you, but every single time, so I've been talking to marketers and working with marketers in the B2B space for more than a decade. I'm like, how's your webinar? Great. Yeah, it took us three months to launch it, <laughs> right? Let's talk about the subject matter expert. Okay. So first of all, subject matter experts typically that have all the content in their head, guess what? They're billable. <laughs> So what that means is, hey, let's do a webinar. Now it's like, great, you got to build the deck, you got to practice it, then you got to deliver it. Like that's almost sometimes two to three days of work. This is a challenge, right? There, This is the every single company that I ever talked to when they have subject matter experts trying to yank out the content for them. It is a challenge because you're like, hey, I need the content that's stuck in your head because it's really valuable, it's really good. But I know you're supposed to be billing because you generate revenue for the company. So there's this tug of war back and forth. And with webinars, it's just this big time suck. And it doesn't matter how you template the process, it's just always a time suck. Because a lot of people don't realize subject matter experts are not necessarily content creation experts, okay? When you start creating content on a regular basis, you start getting really rapid at it and good at it. Now that does take skill and also takes process. Subject matter experts in the B2B space, typically in the software space, are implementers, right? Our guide to whatever you're trying to do with the software, working with the customer, understanding their problem, and they're less about content creators. So that's a big, big problem. I would say really that is the number one stuck uh, on it. And if you're looking at, you know, the other kind of cons of it, it's just people are just tired of webinars, right? Like you, there's sometimes you look at a webinar, and you're like, wow, I'm watching a cursor and then the deck change. I'm like, please shoot me now. And you tend to tune out. 
it, there may be great content in it, but it's typically long. And I see also so many companies, please don't do this. They take their webinar recording and put it on a YouTube channel. You're going to screw up your SEO tenfold because YouTube will look at your videos like a human and say, wow, this is a 45 minute long video and people are staying for three minutes. <laughs> so I know you want to host it there, but nobody's going to watch that. Best example that you can do is chunk it up into chapters, break it up into chapters and see if you can do it that way. So let's look at how you could potentially make it better. Okay. And this is one of the workflows that we always talk about it. It's actually not on our website yet, but all of our workflow X are designed for marketers to basically speed up in two ways. One, how to be way more efficient so how you can produce 50% more content without adding staff and budget, but how to just think outside the box, how to rapidly create quality content. A good way to talk about it, instead of having them create the presentations or the great deck is you want to interview them. Let's get the information out of them, the structure of the webinar. And that could be just you or one person talking to the subject matter expert, having a discussion for about an hour. Take that discussion and then transcribe it. I know it's going to be a lot of content, but transcribe it. Then you can actually even hire a script writer or somebody to yank out the bullet points, the main subjects, because when you're going to talk through it, you're going to have, you know, in a talk or in a conversation, there's going to be five or 10 main buckets of information that you want to narrow it down to. So you can either do that from the transcriptions because then the subject matter experts really doesn't have to spend time on it and somebody else can do it. Yes, it's a tedious task, but you can get out it and there's patterns in it. And once you have those, you have a pretty good outline of the entire conversation that is consumable to about four to five pages of just kind of bullet points. So then you can actually talk to the subject matter expert and you visually see something. Hey, does this sound good? And you're like, hey, cool. You can tweak it. Now, before you give it back to them and say, hey, go ahead and create the presentation, just stop right there. Hire somebody to create the presentation for you or do it internally in the marketing department. Actually scratch that. Hired it out. It is literally two to three times more cost efficiency. We have this Excel spreadsheets on this to prove it, what it costs you internally to do it externally. And you can have, there are people out there that specialize on creating these presentations and they do not have to be content or subject matter experts in your field because you're already given the content. It's just, I don't know how many times have you also created a PowerPoint presentation, like how much of a time suck it is. Like I find myself, I'm like, Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Well, that's a new feature. Let's try that. And you're like, wow, it took me an hour and a half to do this one slide, <laughs> right? And like total waste of time, focus on the content, have somebody else actually create the presentation. You can give them the templates, you can give them the branding styles, right? All that you have it, you have past presentations, but you want to get that task away from the subject matter experts so they can focus on billable time, right? So by doing that, extracting the content, you know, transcribing it, focusing on the kind of the main heading and talking points that you have in there, and then bring it back or giving it to somebody else to create the actual physical presentation. Then you can give it back to the subject matter expert. And then the subject matter experts like, Hey, this is cool. Now I have it. Now they can actually practice it. Doing that, you're going to reduce the subject matter experts time at least by 80%. Okay. I kid you not by 80%. If you just follow that simplistic or a different way to extract that content from them. And this is also going to relieve a ton of pressure from them, which means the next time you ask them, Hey, let's create another a webinar. They're like, okay, Hey, that last time wasn't that bad. And it's also going to perpetually do it better. Everybody's going to be happier. They're going to bill more. And you still as the marketing team, get the webinar you desire for your lead gen activities. Okay. So let's talk about the anti-webinar, the panel, which is a panel of subject matter experts. You could potentially have you know, a customer on there, but you're basically having a discussion around a certain topic like you would a webinar. So let's talk about pros of approaching that. Number one, it's a lot more human right? It's less robotic. It's less scripted. It, it's less pre-written. It's a lot more human. And especially the B2B space. Now, a lot of the buyers want the same B2C, you know, experience that we're used to. You want some authenticity, just some realism, some human interaction, right? And that's one thing, definitely this whole world that we live in now, the virtual world has brought us to be a little bit more human, a little less stiff. And I think that's one thing about these panels that I've uh, definitely seen of people, subject matter experts having a great discussion back and forth works really well. The number second, I mean, this would be probably the first one is just, oh, wow. It is a lot less time perspective from a time perspective to build just a natural panel, a natural discussion. It's no different. If you have a panel at a conference, this one is just virtual, right? It's could be done that way. And I think that is definitely a huge driver, you know, for it 
for basically being a lot more time efficient to have this panel have this panel out there so one of the let's look at some of the drawbacks of these live panels number one is if you don't have a person driving it like if there's not a pretty tight structure that everybody kind of agreed on so you're, hey here's the topics we can talk about here's the no-go topics right let's stay focused it can turn into a disaster zone so you have to have a really good moderator that's really strong able to potentially even cut people off or just go hey let's stick back and get to this topic you know let's stay hey if we're gonna spend five minutes on this topic let's go that way so that's a big key component that you need to have a, a strong person who can actually drive that and drive the panel especially if there's more people on it the second one is subject matter experts may not feel super comfortable just going ad lib a little bit right so you have to find some people that are pretty comfortable that you would put on a panel specifically like let's say in a conference and you have that in them with them that are kind of really comfy to be able to do that in just a webinar kind of setting the second one i highly recommend having a moderator for the questions right somebody else so you need that main moderator needs to focus on the conversation and drive the conversation to make sure it stays on track because it is a live environment and then you'd like to have somebody moderator else that has the questions, bring them in and et cetera. But overall, I see that when you have a lot of content experts, you know, I've been creating a ton of video content on a regular basis. I don't do second takes. You know, I got some notes here on my pad that I focus on and I stay on that topic and I just go. So, but that's just like naturally, you know, doing this for a thousand times. So when you have the subject matter experts, they'll maybe hesitant at first, but then be like, hey, this was a lot easier on my schedule. Like I got to prep some talking points. I could lock down, I could look down on some talking points i delivered authentically it was fun and it didn't take me tens and tens and tens of hours to be able to create a webinar like it so highly recommend so there is little snippets on you know the pros and cons of a webinar an anti-webinar or a panel of discussion a panel for b2b you know test them out and just really remember, remember focus on efficiency and that's what really workflow x.io uh, the reason we named it to workflow is because if you really want to be efficient in the marketing kind of department is all about process and workflows. And right now, a lot of marketing, you know, has changed dramatically so much. And I think teams need time to be able to learn, look at data, you know, look at strategy and make data driven decisions and test different things. But then there's a lot of existing marketing content that needs to be created all the time. <laughs> <laughs> blocks, white, white papers, webinars, infographics, videos, customer testimony videos, case studies. I mean, you name it. That stuff can be efficiently done to not only create it effectively, but using technology and outsourced labor. And that's really what Workflow X is focused on. And we're giving a lot of these templates away and the step-by-steps for free out there. So check us out on the website, workflowx.io. And my name is Peter Matichek. And until next time, and see you look. I even actually have a blue shirt to my blue lights. Woo! Maybe next video I'll have a red shirt with red lights. A little giveaway. <laughs> All right. Talk soon. Cheers. Bye.